My first year here was just absolutely terrific. I spent a lot of time doing business outreach, getting to know the businesses that are in the chamber, obviously introducing myself to ones that aren't in the chamber and encouraging them to um, become chamber members. Uh, spent a lot of time with different um, people from throughout the community, um, people at the college, people in different social service agencies, people who are working with the communities, uh, administrative um, people from different towns and that sort of thing. Really um, so that they could get to know me, I could get to know them, but then we could find out all of those ways that we um, can collaborate to um, work on, on a variety of issues in Franklin County, including workforce development, economic development, uh, tourism, all of those things, so it's really exciting. One of the things I thought that would be a great way to support uh, Franklin County businesses would be to start a Franklin County Chamber of Commerce gift card, uh, which we have done and it's just, there's crazy momentum right now. So it's one card that you can buy uh, and there's a variety of places where you can buy it. And then you can use that card at all of these different businesses, which gives the customer a ton of versatility and it encourages them to try a local business that they haven't used before for. Some of their old favorites are on there, which is great. Um, so my vision is to just keep building this network and moving people around, moving people from business to business um, and, and letting them um, learn more about the unbelievable businesses that we have here in Franklin County. I think that Franklin County is such a great place for young families or young people um, to, to consider settling because there's so, many, there's so much going on. First of all, we have a college here, which is a really nice draw. Uh, we have all of this beautiful open outdoor space and room to run and play but there's this base of cultural venues and and artists here and I think that you know we, we were just named one of the most vibrant art communities um, in the country in the coming year you know we're gonna just keep forging ahead with um, making sure that we're supporting businesses every possible way that we can um, I'm really focused on downtown Greenfield um, and how we can really um, you know invigorate um, and, and, and build on the assets that we have there and all of the downtowns that we have in Franklin County. So I feel that way about Turner Falls, Shelburne Falls, we've been working closely with the Business Association up there um, and how we tie all of that together. Deerfield, um, Sunderland, there's a lot of little villages here that have a lot of exciting things going on and so I want to do our best to try to tie all of that together. As wonderful as everything is here, we, we've had some, um, you know, some businesses close. Uh, and I have decided, I want to look at this as an opportunity. So we have a large um, department store, which was Wilson's downtown, that is, is going to be closing after, I think, 137 years in business. Uh, and we have a very large, really beautiful sort of modern building um, that's now empty in Deerfield, um, the Channing Beat building. And I think, you know, these are just tremendous opportunities for us in Franklin County to really take a look at what we have and how we can move forward in a, in a new and exciting direction.